Underwater graves belonging to Florida's first inhabitants were discovered in the Gulf of Mexico near Venice. And we're talking about 7,000 years of history. And we're learning more about the burial site thanks to Florida Gulf Coast University. The Now's Adam Pinsker telling us the discovery was an accident. FGCU graduate students Dianira Lopez and Amy Pham never thought their studies would take them to a burial site on the Gulf of Mexico. I've been born and raised in West Palm Beach, Florida all my life and off of the beach and never did I imagine in a million years that we would find human remains down there so close to home. Under the supervision of FGCU anthropology professor Heather Walsh Haney, Lopez and her classmates are trying to preserve and protect this 7,000 year old ancient burial site off the coast of Minnesota Key. It was not under the Gulf of Mexico at that time. That was habitable, wonderful land that our indigenous peoples lived on. But thousands of years worth of erosion and changes to the landscape meant what was once actually a freshwater grave is now the sea bottom. Researchers say the peat moss covering the grave helped keep it intact over these years. Once work at the bottom of the ocean is done, Walsh Haney says she will work with the Seminole and Miccosukee tribes on the best ways to preserve the underwater grave. What types of sands or sediments should we use to cap off the site to protect it? Will putting in buoys or pylons to alert boaters of this important site, how is that going to affect the preservation? State officials are keeping the exact location of the site a secret for now and won't disclose some of the artifacts that were found. Walsh Haney's class is one of only a handful of people to catch a glimpse into ancient history. Just the fact that I was able to be a part of something that is, you know, 7,000 years old is just absolutely unbelievable to me.